Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skladowski and it's time for another edition of iPhone Friday. Every Friday evening, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, United States, uh, we do a little in-depth training on everything iPhone and iPad. And as you know, if you've been following, we're doing iPhone A to Z. It so started with the A's and now we're getting up you know, into the middle here. And it just so happens that last week was iPhone H for hotspot and this week is iPhone I for iOS 14, if ever the stars had aligned <laughs> to give us an I, the week that iOS 14 came out, somewhere, somewhere Steve Jobs is, is smiling down upon us. Thank you, Steve. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit more about iOS 14, which is the new iPhone operating system or iPad operating system, iOS, iPhone operating system that is available on your phone for, and iPad to download and put to work right now. So um, if you haven't done it yet, we'll go back and check out the What's New Wednesday video because I really showed in depth there how to download it and how to make sure you do it in the most safe and you know normal way possible. Um, so today we're gonna do a little bit more, but if you stick around to the end of the video, and I know you will, Stick around to the end of the video because a big, big announcement is coming, and we're gonna we're gonna take the lid off of it this week. More details are coming, but we'll you know we'll tease you a little this week. So here you go. All right. So if you haven't noticed yet, iPhone 14 or iOS 14 is out. And by the way, let me jump over to uh, my phone here, and I'll show you. If you haven't noticed yet, <laughs> look at that big clock. Okay, that's called a widget. And uh, you can put widgets on the home screen now. And if all of this is Greek to you, or some other foreign language, and maybe Greek is your no normal language, um, if all of this is, you know, crazy tech talk to you, don't worry, because we're going to get into each and every piece of this as time goes on, um, especially with our big announcement coming up at the end of the video. Okay, but for today, I'll just tell you that that big clock is part of a widget, and you can do things with them, like add other stuff. Like, look, I'm, I, all I'm doing is, is flipping through it, okay? And I can show you that I'm showing different things. And you can do that with multiple different widgets on the phone. And that's probably the thing that's getting the most attention in the iPhone universe is the ability to put these big widgets anywhere on the screen of your phone so you get more information at a glance. Believe me, a lot of that to come. Today, I wanted to give you two things that are totally new in iOS 14 and, and, and I think will be helpful to you. The widget thing, definitely helpful, another day. But let's, I wanna show you two things. One of them is kind of a security thing and the other one is just super helpful. And let's dig right into that. So the first one is going to be the fact that uh, under iOS 14, Apple has added little tiny indicator lights at the very top. And I mean that very, you know, right where you see where the, uh, on my phone over there, there's the time in the center. And if you go farther over to the right, there's the battery percentage and all of that, okay? They've added indicator lights to show when any app on your phone is using either the microphone or the camera. Now, normally not a big concern, right? If I'm doing something that normally uses the microphone, that's me, I don't care. And same thing with the camera, if I'm making a FaceTime call to the grandkids or whatever, um, if I had grandkids, uh, if I'm making a FaceTime call to a friend, I'm using the camera, I know that. But there's been a lot of, mm, I don't know, concern? Uh, um, interest, whatever, about other apps that might be well to use, not too fine a word, spying on you, okay? So now in the iPhone iOS 14 update, any app that accesses and uses either your phone or excuse me, your microphone or your camera, you're going to know about it because of one of the little indicator lights. So for example, if I open up the voice memos, and I just happen to have it there, so if I open up voice memos and I've got some recordings, right, when I hit the red button, if this is an old app in iPhone, if you haven't used it, it's kind of cool, it lets you record your voice, you know, if you need to take a, a voice memo or something like that. If I tap on the red button down there to start recording, well then of course you see the waveform down there at the bottom. But look up at the top, look up 
See that orange light up there between the time and, and the battery percentage? That's the indicator, the orange light is the indicator that the microphone of my phone is in use. Now, of course, I know that I'm using the app, I get it. However, and when I turn it off, watch the orange light and I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn it off. Beep. And see, the orange light goes away because I'm not using the microphone anymore, right? So that might be helpful if you happen to notice it. Just, hmm, look, there's the orange light is on and I'm not doing anything with a microphone. I'm not recording anything. I'm not, maybe you have an app that's spying on you. I don't know. You might want to check on that. Same thing with video. If I open up the camera, for example, all right, so here's the camera there. We're looking at my, uh, we're looking at my, uh, uh, which one call it, my computer as I record this. Now, this one's a little harder to find, and I don't know if it's always going to be like this, but look, way, oh, I'm sorry, wrong finger. Look way up in the upper right corner, and I mean as far as the eye can see up into the upper, upper right corner of this screen. There's, it's so small, I'm going to have to enlarge this when I produce the video. It's so small you can barely see it, but there is a little tiny green light there. A little itty bitty green light, and that's showing me that the camera is being used by an app. And of course, in this case, it's the regular camera app. So, but if I close it, it goes away. See, the camera is not in use anymore. So, that's kind of cool. It gives you a good indication of apps that are using the camera, excuse me, using the camera or the microphone on your phone. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm using the voice recorder, I'm using the camera, I'm doing something. But if you see that and you're not doing anything that's using the camera or the microphone, you might want to take a look and see what apps are running on your phone and try and close the few, you know, like we've done in the, like if you double, you've done this, right? I mean, I think we taught this a long time ago, but uh, on for those of us with phones with buttons, my old iPhone 8 here, if I double press on the home button, it shows me all the apps and then I can put my finger and just swipe up, swipe up, swipe up to get rid of them, right? You iPhone 10 people and 11 people, of course, you do that with uh, a side button to bring up the uh, to bring up the uh, uh, multitask view where you can see all the stuff that's running in the background. Okay, that's number one. I got another one for you. And this one I think is a little more fun and a little more everyday useful, okay? And that is that if you have um, an iPhone from, I think it's uh, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 10, 11, I think, I think it's those. I'm pretty sure 5 is not included in that, but I'll have to check on that. I know my 8 works just fine. And that is the ability to set um, the phone to do something when you tap on the back of it. How cool is that? So this is hiding under accessibility, okay? That's the big catch-all uh, bag of, uh, of functions and features that make the phone easier to use for people with disabilities or, you know, all kinds of things. But there's a lot of cool stuff in there as well for just, you know, for everybody. So. Here's how we get there. If we go to settings, our friend settings, of course, and we're in settings, right? Go down to uh, accessibility, has its own, uh, where is it? Well, it has its own uh, uh, setting. There it is, right at the top, right? Accessibility has its own set, uh, uh, listing under settings, all right? And then scroll down to where it says touch. See where it says physical and motor? Right there, I'm pointing to it. Touch, okay? And way at the bottom of this, this is where you'll see things like shake to undo and vibration settings and stuff like that. So if you don't want the phone to ring, but you want it to vibrate when it's in your pocket so you know it's ringing, this is where you would do it. But way down on the bottom, back tap. And that's brand new, back tap. So if you don't have it turned on, tap on it to turn it on. All right. And look, you can do things with double tap and triple tap on the back of the phone. And to set them, all you do is tap on double tap, tap on double tap, get it? And here's the list of all the things you can do when you double tap on the phone, right? I can turn on the lock screen, I can mute it if I'm, you know, playing back music or something. Take a screenshot, turn on Siri, uh, turn the volume up, turn the volume down, turn on the magnifier. There's a ton of things. Same thing if I go to triple tap, it's really the same list. You basically get to pick two things right? 
with two things. And so if I wanted to, with the triple tap, you'll see I have the control center selected. And with the double tap, I actually have the OK Google setup so that I can talk to both Siri or Google. Oh, clever, huh? But let's do the triple because that's uh, that'll show you how that works. All right. So if I'm back at home, I'm back on the home screen. All right. And on the back of the phone. So normally if you're holding the phone, of course, you know, you might just hold it and you can put your finger over on it. So if it's triple, one, two, three, and it opens the control center, no swiping required. <gasps> how cool is that? All right. And then on the other, of course, I have the double one. So one, two. And there's Google and I can, oh, how, it, nice, cool, huh? Come on. That's a great one. <laughs> I'm waiting for your applause. That's a great one. I love that. So again, to get to that, settings, accessibility, touch, back tap. I know it's kind of buried in there, but if you get the free handout that we give away, you know, with our e uh, mailing list, I'll have a complete description on how to get there. Okay. So that's going to do it for today. So speaking of which, if you haven't yet, boy, you better get over to the website because you're going to want to check it out. Um, BillSkladowski.com, right there, where you can get uh, on our email list. Just click on the Click Me button there right on the front page. And when you do, you'll get our weekly free email newsletter. It goes out usually Sunday, first thing Monday, something like that, where it uh, tells you the two videos that, you've, uh, you know, that we had in the previous week. So if you want to rewatch them or if you missed them, there are links to watch them right on the blog there at BillSkladowski.com. And also... Because, you know, every Friday we have a handout of, you know, just how to do the thing we, you know, talked about on iPhone Friday. You can download that and print it out and keep it for your very own. All of that is at BillSkladowski.com. Get over there and check it out. Okay. Now, are you still with me? I, I know you are. Are you still with me? Uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for sharing this video with friends uh, who, you know, might find it interesting and helpful as well. We need to get it out to the bigger, wider world. And here's the big announcement. Are you ready? If I had a drum roll, if I had a, if I had a drum, I'd do a drum roll. But, of course, iOS 14 is out. It is huge. Eh, I'm a huge. Eh, it's big. It's really big. And there are lots and lots of very cool changes to make your iPhone or iPad that much more helpful and useful and easy to use and giving you... I mean, we just gave you a couple of cool features here in the past few minutes on uh, what you can do with your uh, iPhone now with iOS 14. So, um, we've given it some thought, and we are going to do an iOS 14 master class. Yes. We're going to do it um, through Zoom. Of course, that's the thing that all the kids are going to school on Zoom now. You've probably heard it a million times. If you don't know how to use Zoom, don't worry, I'm going to put out a video on the blog on exactly how you can join the class through Zoom. It's going to be three sessions of 90 minutes apiece, an hour of me teaching and demonstrating and showing you new stuff with your phone or your iPad because of iOS 14. And then we're going to have at least some time, you know, half an hour is what I'm scheduling, but if it goes longer, it goes longer, for your questions on how to do stuff, okay? Now, I can't guarantee I'm going to know 100% of the things that you're going to ask because we're going to do it live. <laughs> but if you stump the band, all right, then the next week we'll come back and we'll do a Q&A session and we'll catch up on the past stuff. So no question left behind. Everybody gets their questions answered. And, of course, a full handout to go with it. Now, we're just putting together details. You've got some time on this. Don't panic just yet. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, when's it going to be? <laughs> Probably a couple, three weeks away while we get class together here. And then we'll let you know more details when the time comes about how you can join up. And if you're interested, great. And if it's, you know, just want to keep watching the What's New Wednesday and the iPhone Friday classes, that's cool, too. Well, you know, we, we, we appreciate all of our tribe members here. All right, that's going to do it. Wow, so much going on, so exciting out there in iPhone and iPad world. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. And remember, join us again next Wednesday. I'm sure we'll probably have some more iOS 14 tidbits uh, when we do What's New Wednesday. Again, if you haven't been there yet, get over to the website, bellsklodowski.com, sign up for the newsletter, and we'll uh, see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.